Hello, this is the Balkan Architect and in this video I will talk about how to create colored floor plans in Revit, how to color your rooms and then how to calculate rooms, uh, room areas. So here I have this project I've been using for a while for tutorials. I'm going to go to lower level. Here we have just a basic floor plan. You can't really see the doors, but I'm going to go into VR and change this to let's say 1.2 go apply okay and now you can see all the doors over here so now let's just name our rooms and set them in Revit so here you need to go to this room icon or you can use the shortcut RM and now you can see you can place rooms over here I'm just going to name this one room 1 okay place it here then room 2 place it here, room 3, place it here, room 4, place it here. Okay, now I'm just going to hit escape and you can see we didn't name this one. Let's say this is, I just want to categorize these two as a single room, even though we have this wall in the middle. We can do that by just selecting this wall and unchecking this room bounding. Once I've done that, now if I tab into this room fill here, you can see now this room actually contains both of these rooms. Now let's select this room here and you can see this hallway over here is categorized as this room here. But let's say I want this hallway to be a separate room without putting a wall over here. So I can do this with the room separator tool. I just hit here and then you can use basically this line tool to connect this wall to this wall and this is not a structural element at all this is an annotation element but when I select this room you can see it's only this room over here and hallway is a separate room so I'm just going to go to room name this one room 5 and place it over here Okay, now we have these rooms over here, these five rooms, and let's say we need to create a color scheme or a color schedule so we can see better which room is which. To do this, I'm just going to go to this annotate tab over here, find color fill, click here on color fill legend, select it, and just place it anywhere where you have room on your floor plan, so place it here and for the space type I'm just going to go rooms and for color scheme I'm just going to go to def uh, department or whatever click OK and now you can see we don't really have any color so I'm just going to go here and edit scheme, scheme and then go to let's say name and go apply OK and now you can see I have all these different rooms in different color schemes now I'm going to go up to entry level and you can see we have basically this is a this is not a room this is basically empty space when I go to 3D you can see this is our floor ends over here and this is just empty space so I'm going to go back to entry level and when I go to the room command just this room and you can see if I place it it actually categorized even this as a part of the room but we don't want to calculate this as basically the area of the room so in order to take that out of the account I'm just going to go here to room separator and I'm just going to go along the edge of this floor to this part and do the same here till this wall hit escape and then when I select the room you can see only this is the room. I'm just going to name this one room 6. Okay. Now let's go back to our lower level and let's say we want to see how large these rooms are. We want to see the area of these rooms. So we need to create a schedule for that. So I'm just going to go here schedules, right click, new schedule quantities, open it up, just hit anywhere and tap R to find rooms here they are rooms room schedule okay and now find first let's take the name transfer it over here then let's 
take the area transfer it over here and now we have everything we need for our schedule so go OK so here we have all of our rooms and all of the areas of those rooms so you can create useful schedules so you can see everything in one view okay that's pretty much it for rooms coloring them and creating schedules with areas thank you for watching please subscribe for more useful tutorials leave a comment if you have any suggestions for further tutorials like and share this video and have a nice day